Gotham Records is an independent label based out of the UK. But actually, we um, we release records all over the world. Like we're partners in the Middle East as well as here in America and right across Europe and South Africa uh, and even Israel. So uh, you know, we're kind of a global company, although we're based in Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Um, I started the label really by accident. Um, I already managed artists way back in the early 80s and I'd been uh, managing artists with our record deals with EMI, RCA, Virgin Records, V2, BMG, so we'd had record deals with all the big labels and I just got very, very despondent with the way they operated. It was all very big and it was very boom time and we used to get £25,000 maybe advance for a single. Uh, you'd be lucky to get that these days for an album. But it was big money and it was big time. However, um, as an artist manager, I realised that there's a lot of small things in the world that do well too. Um, you know, you throw tiny little grass seeds down on the grass, they're tiny little grass seeds, but they turn into an amazing, beautiful green lawn when they grow. So I wanted to do a lot of things organically and in small ways that would develop around the world. And I found that the record labels, the majors, wouldn't allow me to do that. So um, I decided I'm going to start my own record label. I don't know what it means, I don't know what the journey will take me. And I certainly don't know if I'll make any money from it, but I think I'm going to do that anyway. So, so I did that right back in 1988, and uh, 27 years later, uh, we're changing the way we operate as a record label. But uh, we're still in business, and uh, I love having a record label. It's my very own jukebox. I said about my new record label, Gotham Records. We owned a few tracks that we recorded, but really we had got to record stuff because we were now a record label. So we started looking for stuff to license. Um, and very, very quickly, because it was the end of the 80s, dance music was very, very big. So when I set up the label, I set it up kind of as a, a rebellion against the majors, but I didn't quite know what else to do with it. I, I, to be fair, I didn't know, you know. Um, I didn't even have a name. Somebody else suggested the name Gotham, which stuck and it's lasted us really well. But uh, I very, very quickly realised dance music, which I wasn't a fan of, and I'm not really a fan of, was, was popular. So if we could perhaps license some dance music cheap or free or record some inexpensive dance tracks then sell them maybe that would be a way of making money and 